Google Earth. The Nordic folklore tells us about a strange creature that lived in the depths in the North Sea. It attacked any ship that sailed, trapping and destroying them with its huge and long tentacles. This monster was called Kraken, and currently lives in the frozen waters of Deception Island near Antarctica. Recently, thanks to Google Earth, it was seen near the island, an animal that measured 132 yards from the head to the tip. It was Scott C. Waring who discovered this strange creature. He used Google's ruler to measure the creature. Only the part that was on the surface measured 32 yards. However, the rest of the giant squid could be more than 65 yards long. The first sighting of this creature took place on April 9, 2016. Scott, upon seeing this animal, immediately thought of the legendary kraken. However, he also thought of the extinct plesiosaur, responsible for causing disturbance in the ocean. Whatever the animal he managed to spot, it remains a mystery why no one has spoken about it. However, for some people, this evidence is nothing more than optical illusions or fantasies. Abandoned Wonders of Antarctica Antarctica is one of the least populated places on the planet. However, this hasn't prevented the construction of buildings for military, scientific, or commercial purposes. And as expected, many of these ambitious projects have failed. This has caused these settlements to remain standing until today. One of them had been built on Deception Island at the beginning of the 20th century and was called Wales Bay. It was intended to serve as a commercial base for a Norwegian Chilean whaling company. However, during the Great Depression, they abandoned it because oil prices plummeted. Besides, the whale oil harvest was no longer profitable. After that, in 1944, some British decided to establish a new shipping base. But in the 60s, the inhabitants fled after a series of volcanic eruptions. By 1969, the eruptions had buried some of the buildings. Although many men tried to settle on the island, they were unsuccessful. The inaccessibility and loneliness of the areas of the island made men think twice about staying there. In the end, they ended up leaving. Some returned to bring down what they had built, but the ice and even the worsening weather frustrated their mission. New Species of Water Bear A few years ago, a new species of animal called water bear was discovered in Antarctica. This organism is so complex it can live even in space, but what are these things? The water bear is a microscopic creature that has a robust body, eight legs, each with its respective claws, and a sounding head. They feed on plant cells or small invertebrates. Scientists classify this animal as indestructible because it can survive under any circumstance. It was recently discovered in Antarctica. Previously, they had been seen in mountains, deserts, and even the depths of the ocean, but never in Antarctica. However, it surprises many that this little creature has come so far. They aren't so good at moving. The most notable feature is the great resistance they possess. They can adapt and live in hostile environments. Even in space, a group of astronauts made the test, exposed them to this environment, and survived that experience. The most shocking thing is that not only can they withstand high or low temperatures, they also withstand high pressures, dehydration, poison, and radioactivity. Do you think these animals can help man to live in space in the future? Penguin Colony has nearly disappeared. Between the southern end of Africa and the Antarctic, there is a small French island where one of the largest colonies of king penguins on the planet lives. Unfortunately, today, these creatures are in a big pickle. Since the early 1980s, a group of scientists have been tracking the penguin colony. Analyzing some of the photographs, they realized the population had dropped by 90% in the last three decades. This colony represented one-third of the penguin population in the world, and now is about to disappear. Currently, there are only 60,000 pairs of penguins of the 500,000 that existed. What is even more worrying is that the reasons for this decrease is unknown. It is, and will remain for now, a worrying mystery. Some scientists believe this is due to climate changes caused by us, causing the squid and fish to move away from the island, so the penguins can't feed properly, and even decreasing the success of their reproduction. This can create the extinction of the king penguins. Hopefully, they'll come up with a solution as soon as possible to avoid the loss of another species on the planet. Strange Creature Stranded on Iceberg A few months ago, a group of crab fishermen came across something very unusual and surprising. On the top of an iceberg, there was a small creature trapped. Upon seeing it, they thought it was a baby seal. These were the only ones that moved so far from the coast. However, when they got close enough to make sure the creature was okay, they realized it was an arctic fox. 
It had probably gone to that iceberg looking for food, but the ice came off and sent it far from the coast. They decided to rescue it, so they approached slowly so as not to scare it and they tried to put it in the boat. Unfortunately, the fox was too restless and nervous to let itself be helped, so it fought its rescuers to stay where it was. However, its struggle was in vain, since it ended up inside the boat. The creature was very weak and slept all the way to the coast, and although it was still nervous, it was hungry. The only food they could give it was a can of sausages, then they set it free in nature. The Mysterious DNA There could be plants and animals living in a warm climate under a dense blanket of ice from the underground caves of Antarctica. They came to this conclusion when they found an extensive system of underground caves around the active Mount Erebus volcano on Ross Island. The scientists analyzed samples collected from the soil in the caves and discovered traces of DNA from algae, mosses, and animals. All had similarity with the other plants and animals that exist in Antarctica. Although they couldn't continue with the research because they had to make a new collection of samples, they don't rule out the possibility of discovering a new species. The temperature there is quite warm and favorable for the development of species. However, they haven't seen a creature. Sure, they've previously found a series of bacteria and fungi in the volcanoes of this area, but they want to find more complex organisms. So, the only thing left to do for this group of scientists is to continue exploring these caves and considering expanding their adventure to the other volcanoes in Antarctica. Do you think they can find new beings? Volcano Under the Ice In 2017, a group of scientists discovered a volcanic region that had been hidden under layers of snow and ice. In that territory were about 140 volcanoes. The region lies two miles between the ice and western Antarctica, eclipsing the volcanic ridge that lies east of Africa, classified as the densest area of volcanoes. They have tried to determine how many volcanoes there are. To do so, they penetrated the ice to analyze the terrain in search of hidden peaks of basaltic rock with the help of a radar. They discovered 91 unknown volcanoes, added to the 47 discovered during the last century. The volcanoes measure between 110 to 3,970 yards in height. They are all covered with a 2.5 mile thick layer. Experts think that if there is an eruption, the consequence would be really terrible and worrisome. This would destabilize the ice sheets in western Antarctica, accelerating the flow of ice to the sea. Their activity increases due to the loss of its glacier cover. When this happens completely, the pressure of the volcanoes will be released, causing them to become active. The Green and Lush Past It was recently discovered that 50 million years ago, Antarctica was surrounded by palm trees and didn't have a climate as cold as we know now. Despite being a promising discovery, it's really alarming because of the climactic changes that the Earth is undergoing today. After all, this could happen again if global warming continues to advance. It all started when they drilled a mile at the bottom of the ocean to collect some samples of fossilized pollen. These have been transported by insects to the shallow coasts, setting in the mud and conserving until today. When analyzing it, they discovered the Earth had been exposed to high levels of gases like those currently produced by the greenhouse effect. This caused the temperature of the Earth to be higher. These gases also greatly affected the location of the Earth's poles. These were the first evidences of everything that happened in Antarctica during those times, proving that long ago, the climate of the low areas was similar to that of a warm tropical forest, while the other regions were mountainous. Antarctica's Amazing Wilderness More than a mile below the icy surface of these Antarctic waters, scientists discovered an incredible world with sea creatures. Among them, there are huge spiders, jellyfish with long tentacles, huge worms, spooky crabs, and giant prawn. These creatures live in a dark and mysterious desert, full of thick vegetation and coral gardens. Some of them were washed away by the waters and ended up on the surface near a research ship called Aurora Aurelis. They had the help of three ships to probe 30,000 square miles east of Antarctica. The surprise they took was massive because they didn't know how to identify the creatures. Most of them were new species. The scientists were satisfied with the obtained results. Meanwhile, they hoped to continue this investigation and be able to identify most of the creatures that were collected. They believe that the collaborative East Antarctic Marine Census, made up of researchers from France, Japan, and Australia, could help them understand how these marine communities have been able to adapt to the Antarctic environment. Brazilian boat shown submerged. With the discovery of a strange image where a yacht appears sunk in the Antarctic, a great wave of commotion was generated by ghost lovers. 
Well, this Brazilian research vessel below the surface of the water seems to shine with great intensity. Named Mar Semfim, it made scientific and educational expeditions in Antarctica. One day, the winds reached 60 miles per hour, and although the crew struggled to keep the boat stable on their route, they were unsuccessful, unsuccessful, and ended up trapped in the ice near King George Island. They decided to ask for help on the radio. This worsened to the point that the waves reached 16 yards high and with strong winds of 40 knots. Fortunately, their call was heard and they managed to be rescued after two days of suffering. Although this incident took place on April 7, 2012, the yacht was taken out of the water one year later. The owner of the boat, Mar Sem Thim, returned to the site to take it out using inflatable buoys. Which of these secret events do you think is the most interesting? Do you think any of them could rewrite history? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.